God of night, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him at minute I like you to verbalize your expectations father I have come give me an encounter father I am here turn my morning to dancing turn my sorrow to joy go ahead verbalize your expectations I will not walk out of this place with this medical report this sickness this infirmity this yoke upon my life, this embargo of shame and reproach, it must drop finally tonight. A believer is crying to the God of heaven. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and declare. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Koinonia Global, cry to the God of all grace. Declare your expectation tonight. US, Canada, UK, South Africa, Ghana, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Abuja, Lagos, Jos, Maiduguri, Port Harcourt. All across the globe, those connecting online, make sure you are an active part of this prayer. Verbalize your request. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Wipe my tears. Give me a testimony. Let a song of joy emanate from my spirit on account of your workings in my life tonight. Show me your salvation tonight. Open up closed doors tonight. Rewrite my story tonight. Give me a turn around tonight. This is part of the service already. Are you praying? Be full of faith. Cry out your expectation. Outside, are you praying? All the overflows. All the viewing centers. Connect by faith. Cry as you pray to the God of all grace. Shabata balake parata kapranta kebereke paratos. Shabaranta bereke tiba laka prandi kebereke tos. Oh, I go forward tonight. I go forward tonight. I make progress. I access the graces required for the next level of my life. I access the graces required for the next level of ministry. I access the graces required for the next dimension of kingdom exploits. Someone is praying for clarity and direction in the name of Jesus that in the course of the service you will hear him speak. He will appear unto you by his word like he did unto Samuel. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Final prayer and then you'll be seated. Father, the discernment, the discernment to recognize my word when it comes, the discernment to know it is me you are speaking about when you speak, I obtain that grace. I reject the carelessness of Jacob. The Lord is in this place and I will know. The Lord is visiting me and I will know that when my word comes, I will not be insensitive. When my word comes, I will not be careless. When my word comes, I will not be undiscerning. Someone is praying. 
your answers are the mercy of his word when he sends his word with his word healing comes with his word deliverance comes with his word liftings come i obtain grace to be sensitive i receive grace to be discerning that when my word come i will know it was sent by god for me in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray father we cry that you will do us good tonight we cry that you will do us good tonight we cry that you will lift burdens tonight we cry that you will give people a new song tonight we cry that there will be spectacular miracles in this place tonight we cry that even while in church testimonies will meet people in church that whilst people are here in church good news will arrive their phones their emails that whilst they are in church others will be in a hurry to let them know what god is already doing in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare over someone that even before the service is ended you would already be sharing your testimony this is a frustrated way of describing the way God turns a man's story. We just call it turn around. When God gives you rest roundabout, that you look left, right, forward, backward, and all you see is the faithfulness of God, it's called a turn around. I just described someone's testimony tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, may my God give you a turn around that you look around your life and all you see is his faithfulness. Rise up on your feet full of faith and let's pray. Shout this after me. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. Tonight, Father. I, believe I believe that you are the God of all grace. And I declare that my faith is ready to receive. Open your mouth and begin to pray in one minute. Ready to receive. Ready to receive ready to receive my healing ready to receive a sent word a global family make sure you pray release your faith as you pray ready to receive a miraculous manifestation ready to receive my miracle children my miracle spouse are you praying ready to receive miracle open doors it's a miracle service it must answer to its name in my life lift your voice and pray all the overflows pray outside pray our online family release your faith i release my faith it's a new season in ministry i release my faith a new season for my finances i release my faith a new season for my family someone is praying a new season for ministry in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now i'm going to give you the next two or three minutes you're going to mention specifics the very areas you are trusting god to attend to i know that you came with your prayer request but i'm talking about areas that god will visit now as we pray you know the areas of pain and concern be the prophet of your destiny open up your mouth and begin to place a demand i'm releasing my faith with you go ahead and pray some of you is healing some of you is children some of you miracle marriages a miracle spouse miracle open doors some of you you are trusting god to give you rest roundabout come on now pray to the god of all grace the god of all grace the god of all flesh some of you greater anointing greater prophetic fire greater apostolic fire greater levels of wisdom 
greater levels of insight, financial favor, strange connection to help us of destiny. Some of you are praying for peace. Some of you are praying for increase, enlargement. God desires to give you all things freely. All things freely. silent open your mouth and pray lord i'm trusting you to bring me out of financial calamity by the wisdom of god by the favor of god by the mercy of god turn my captivity turn my mourning to dancing sorrow to joy heal me oh lord and i will be healed save me and i will be saved you are my rock, my fortress, my salvation. A few more seconds, you are praying. You are praying seriously to the God that answers prayers. Let this demonic oppression over my life, let this demonic oppression over my family, let this mysterious attack over my health, attack over my relevance, attack over my person, attack over my business, let it give way tonight. name of Jesus majesty majesty your grace has found me just as I am empty handed but alive in your hand Just know that you have been delivered from stagnation. I want you to bring them out, ushers. I decree and declare, as the Lord is ministering to me, everyone here who has suffered stagnation, you have been kept at the same level. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit locate you where you are and bring you deliverance now. Look, apareke parus pregata. Locate you where you are. Stagnated in life, stagnated in destiny, be delivered now. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray that everything that represents stagnancy, pegging me, keeping me in the same position, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. Is someone praying? Please bring them out. Everyone under the influence of this demonic spirit of stagnation gives way now stagnation in life and in destiny stagnation in life and in destiny outside all the overflows following online be set free this moment be set free this moment by the power of the Holy Ghost be released to go forward. Be released to go forward. Be released now. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released to go forward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
please bring them out quickly. I want to pray something the Lord is putting in my heart now. I remember praying this prayer during one of the miracle services and the Lord is asking me to pray. There is something connected to a demonic lineage of priesthood connected to a family demonic lineage of priesthood whether someone from that family and that lineage directly served idols or was a medium to contacting the divine and this thing has affected many families i want to pray for you right now wherever you are i stretch my hands i want you to bring them out my god there is a mighty deliverance about to happen everything by demonic orchestration that has tied everyone here who has come by the blood of the eternal covenant be released now be released now I set those altars on fire now on fire now on fire now Aparakos Ketebelekata on fire now now that you are born again I break the chain between you and ancestry the chain between you and idol worship the chain between you and superstition in the name of Jesus Christ break free from idol worship the Lord is setting people free you may not even know that this has tied your destiny down but the Lord sent you here tonight to experience liberty liberty indeed again I'm praying for someone every cord that has tied you to the yokes of ancestry the covenant of darkness and dark powers in the name of Jesus be delivered this moment bring them out be delivered this moment everyone's name that is on any demonic altar Barakatos Kiata for your destruction, for chaos, and for anarchy. If the blood could blot out every handwriting, then I decree and declare every coven carrying your name, carrying your mission, carrying your destiny, let it be consumed by fire now. Consumed by fire now. Consumed by fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kalate paratos kavrida meleke parantos sigetesh lekro sabira tu sabrenda baladus kiata. Good things never stay in your hands. It comes, but it leaves. It comes, but it leaves. Just when you are about to hold good news, something happens and it loses from your hand. I pray for you, whoever this person is, by this prophetic word, everything causing good things to slip out of your hands. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above all names. Father, you have called this a miracle service. There are lives and destinies under all kinds of yokes. I decree and declare for everyone under the sound of my voice, every spirit that has oppressed you, every negative condition that is demonically engineered, as you shout that name, be free once and for all. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be free now. Be released now outside be released all the overflows be released inside be released the balconies be released connecting online be released in the name of Jesus please bring them out very quickly by the power of the Holy Spirit bring them out in the name of Jesus oppressions of wickedness be set free right now yokes causes ancestry orchestrations of delay orchestrations of retrogression be set free now for that gentleman for that sister that daughter of abraham be set free now be set free now be set free now in the name of jesus bring them out i'm praying for them by the power of the holy spirit 
you have been kept in one location in one place nothing moves in your life nothing grows in your life nothing changes in your life today as you encounter this anointing i pray for you may god move you forward may god move you forward in a fearful dimension may god move you forward move you forward move your children forward move your family forward in the name of jesus hallelujah the lord is speaking to me and is ministering to me that some of you came here so that you will be found of god god wants to raise people in your family that becomes an access point for him and that there are many of you he brought here and there is an anointing this one is not deliverance this one is an impartation god wants to locate you by an anointing to show you that he has put upon you the mantle of a savior over your family i don't know where you are but in the name of jesus as you hear me i decree and declare let that oil locate you let that grace locate you ordained to be the savior of your family still bring them out in the name of jesus i decree receive an impartation receive an impartation receive an impartation receive an impartation some of you will be the first to bail your family financially some of you will be the first to introduce jesus to your family some of you will be the first to help your your loved ones to rise beyond a certain level anyone called into that ministry i place grace on your life now i place grace on your life now Ah, someone is saying lord here am i send me send me send me i'm still praying for you again you came to contact grace you may be the the weakest you may be a male a female it doesn't matter i pray for you one more time an anointing from heaven let it land on your head right now let it rest on your destiny right now. I'm hearing in my spirit that rejected stone. That rejected stone. I don't know what has made you rejected. Maybe in your family, maybe in your destiny, maybe among your contemporaries. Let me prophesy upon you. That rejected stone. Let an anointing rest upon you now. Rest upon you now rest upon you now for an extraordinary destiny let it rest upon you now open your mouth and shout say father say it again say father in the name of jesus i take my place in life and destiny open your mouth and pray i take my place the place ordained for me the place commissioned for me lo i come in the volume of the book i may be ordinary but there is an ordination upon my life i may be ordinary but there is a grace on my destiny and in this season i decree and declare that i walk in the reality of my call i walk in the reality of my assignment the reality of my call the reality of my assignment in the name of jesus for all those in front here i decree and declare every oppression of darkness over your life i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant it gives way now it gives way now every legal access satan has over your life i declare that access broken now in the name of jesus return to your seat rejoicing I'm hearing the cry of babies, children. I'm hearing the cry of babies like, you know, like a baby crying. And when God ministers like this, I know that someone is about to receive the miracle of the fruit of the womb. I don't know who is trusting God, whether for yourself or for your loved one. I pray for you 
in the name of Jesus Christ according to the time of life return with your miracle children return with twins and triplets in the name of Jesus Christ where you have tried and tried and tried and tried and it's not seemed to work I release an anointing upon you and I decree and declare that this time around it will be your testimony this time around it will be your testimony this time around it will be your testimony and there was once motion it means that Satan has hijacked that process for you it may not be a house you are building it may be a destiny you are building it may be your business you are building it may even be your spiritual life you are building that you started on a journey successfully so and for some reason Satan hijacked it in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for someone who is willing to receive by the power that raised Christ from the dead what you have started may it finish in your lifetime may it be finished in your lifetime in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the rise up and receive a prophetic word and we will say that you are good and all the miracles you've done has brought us joy and we are changed and all the hope we have we place in you right That we love you, we declare everlasting love for you. One more time with faith in your heart. Father, we declare that we love you, we declare everlasting love for you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the cause of emptiness in your life, financial emptiness in your life, I pray for you by the God of grace and God of mercy, this night, by a prophetic word I declare, enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy supplies from today. Enjoy financial supplies from today. May God raise strangers, men you do not know, and cause them to be interested in your rising. May God raise captains of industry and direct their interest to you and your family. In the name of Jesus, I forbid you from begging. I forbid you from begging. By the wisdom of the Spirit, I forbid you from begging. By the favor of God, I forbid you from begging by the gift of man in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that God is able to give us treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places where the eyes of men cannot see. May God show you gold in the midst of debris. May God show you gold in the midst of chaos. You will see things others don't see. You will capitalize on opportunities for your profiting. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, whoever is looking for a man to help, may they find you. Whoever is looking for a man to lift, may they find you. In the name of Jesus, for those of you who are owing, you are owing corporate debt, personal debt, ministry debt, I decree and declare, by the gift of men, the ministry of helpers, come out of that financial calamity now. Come out of that financial calamity now. I bless the works of your hands. Go and prosper in business. Go and prosper in your career. Go and prosper in your investments. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare every careless decision depleting your finances, careless financial decisions, I decree and declare, may the wisdom of God bail you out of such kind of lifestyle. In the name of Jesus, since you believe in financial testimonies, I release it to your life. 
this week I release it to your life. This week I release it to your life. In addition to your spiritual growth, in addition to your prayer life, in addition to your word study, in addition to your loving Jesus, in addition to your serving Jesus, I declare go and prosper. Go and prosper with dignity and with honor in the name of Jesus. For some of you, you have been helped by God, but the dimension you will experience this week, let it be such that you have never seen before. Let it be such that you have never seen before. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare, let something rest on your head from tonight. Hear me? Hear me? Favor is likened to light that shines upon the face of a man. A glow that attracts help. I'm praying for you. Whatever has covered you, so that those who help you cannot identify that you are the one they were sent to. I declare that veil is torn from off your face. That veil is torn from off your destiny. Torn from off your face. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I pray for you. In the name that is above all names. Hear me. Every assignment you have now before you that depends on finances, wherever God has ordained for that money to come from, I don't care if it's in millions or billions, provided it is for your destiny and will ultimately lead to the glorification of the Christ. I stand by prophecy. I gravitate those resources to your life. I gravitate those resources to your life. I hope you believe it. I gravitate those resources to your life. For some of you, while you are here in Nigeria, foreigners, God will connect you to men across the nations. They will desire to help you of their own accord. They will hold your hands and see to it that you are empowered also. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. The distraction that comes with prosperity I decree and declare it is exempted from your life. The spiritual lukewarmness that befalls men in the presence of plenty, may it be far from your life. You will prosper still having your zeal for Jesus. You will prosper still having your passion for Jesus. You will prosper still prioritizing the kingdom. You will prosper and your resources will be beneficial for the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now wave your hands to Jesus as a sign of faith. Thanking him for all that has happened tonight. Wave your hands for the miracles, for the prophetic words that have come upon your life, the honor, the favor, the open doors, the deliverance. Wave your hands in anticipation for the many testimonies that will follow you all through this week. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for your patience.